Not so long ago, I started having these terrible headaches. They would radiate from the back of my head to the front. I hate headaches, so I immediately went to the doctor. He looks at me and says, you've got a tension headache. But I'm not tense, actually. I'm pretty relaxed. I meditate and work on my breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Touch your finger to your nose. Follow my finger. <laughs> Left. Right. Up. Down. Hear that? Tension headache. <laughs> Take these pills. Call me if it doesn't get better. It didn't get better. Uh, day three, I had to cancel the trip. By day five, I developed a 103 degree fever, and it went on day after day after day. I couldn't shake it. I had a routine. Each day, I'd wake up, feel okay, I got this thing beat, but by six or seven o'clock, the fever would spike, the headaches would resume, I would take Motrin, feel better, go to sleep, wake up at two o'clock in the morning, shaking like a crab game, sweating like a pig. My sheets soaking wet. My couch soaking wet. Speaking of which, by day eight, my couch starts to smell like canned funk. <laughs> I mean, it was kicking. So I go out right now and buy some Febreze, you know. Febreze. <laughs> smell better. Now it smells like Febreze mixed with canned funk. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> Mind you, I'm sleeping on the couch, right, because I've developed this fear of this box in my bedroom that I brought back from Africa. <laughs> Maybe there's something in that box that's making me sick. Maybe it's that lion's tooth. Maybe the air came in through the window, blew across the top of the box, and picked up some kind of strange Ebola, AIDS, cerebral malaria, retrovirus, and I breathed that shit in, and maybe that was making me sick. <laughs> so I go outright and I buy a surgical mask and a pair of latex gloves, and I put them on, and then I get this big sheet of plastic. And I wrap that box up real good, and I put it at the top of my closet. By day 12, my testicles have started to swell up. Epididymitis. Epididymitis. That's what you call it when your nuts swell up as big as your fist, and it feels like the whole world is ballooning out of your balls. <laughs> Progress and marches, 
and then we march every Friday, every Friday, up and down, and I march too, up and down, and still the wars, and suicide bombs, and cluster bombs, and child soldiers, and my nephew Adrian is a child soldier, not in some far off land, but here, and now, and I failed him, I failed him, and now he'll do 33 years, 33 years, I'll be dead before he's ever free. Boom, 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 the kids were shot, bullets in their head, and boom, 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 and now they're dead, and maybe they never really live in this sad ass old ghost town I call home, and maybe I'm a ghost too, because this all seems so unsubstantial, like not quite there, like I can't hold on, like three weeks and no phone calls. Where are my friends at? Where are my comrades at? You know, I keep asking myself, why am I fighting the good fight? Is it because grandma was the only woman on the picket line during the little steel strike? Or because her daddy was on the front lines during the coal strikes? Or because her grandma, Jane Dobbs, was beaten to death at 35, beaten with a belt soaked in water with holes drilled in it until the skin would come off with each strike? Is that why I do it? Because if so, where was I when the little boy put his arm around my shoulder and said, I was at my daddy's funeral. I was at daddy's funeral. But I can't help you. You're not my problem. I didn't invite you here. And then suddenly, I looked up. And there are two images on that TV screen. And those two images. I lost 20 pounds. I never did find out what caused it. The, the bladder infection, false positive. The epididymitis, it went the way of the fever. So did the headaches. But I survived. I'm not sure how. I'm not sure why. I'm not even sure there's an answer to that question. You know, to me, things are just crazy, confused. Chaotic, funky, like that couch. <laughs> and we keep spraying it with Febreze, <laughs> with science, with religion, trying to make sense of it, trying to get the funk out. And sometimes we do. Sometimes we don't. But to me, all the time, it is that struggle that's important. And that's what keeps me going. Because in the end, y'all, that's all that.